Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my guide on how to kill the expert moon lord without cheesing or without using the nurse. Uh, previously I had made a video about the, sort of the same thing, but I used extremely lacking uh, gear and I didn't have any potions. So this time I will show you how easy it actually is when you're completely buffed out. It was very challenging the last time, every hit counted. And uh, I had to do over 40 tries to actually finish and complete it. So, with all of these items right here, we'll have no problem with the Moon Lord and we'll be able to kill him without even going below 500 damage and without healing a single time. So, I'd say make some super healing potions, but with this strategy, graders are fine. Uh, none are fine, actually, but of course, you want some. Yeah. So first we'll be reforging and showing how you can reforge all of your accessories to decent ones with at least, well, with actually a maximum of 10 platinum. 10 platinum should be enough for some good reforges. Uh, if you go for the third, the 3%, or the 3 defense, or 3 whatever, and the 4. And you shouldn't be hunting for a single one that will cost you a ton of money. Just take whichever one is good. Uh, but I'll show you that at the Goblin Tinkler. So, uh, back in a sec. Okay, so here we are at the uh, Goblin Tinkler, ready to reforge our nine accessories and the accessories that we'll use and the two weapons we'll be using. I have about 10 platinum ready for this, so that's all we'll have to will have to work with to make it more of a realistic reforge. I'm thinking everyone throughout their entire expert run will be able to accumulate 10 platinum. It's not that difficult and with with some small farms you can get a lot more. So this is really a, a lower end kind of setup we have. I will right, start with Star Veil. Intrepid really doesn't help so we're not going for that. Lucky is very useful and we will take that. I'm going by the way for warding, lucky or menacing. Those are really helpful or one lower than those. Angry plus three damage is great and since this one is the, these are the least important, the pure scarab, the summoner emblem and the hercules beater aren't that important. Another angry one, we'll just take it. Lucky doesn't really help, so we're gonna go for another one. Well, we'll keep this one for last. We'll just, we'll just keep it here. Uh, sniper scope. This one is an important one, so we'll go for the three options we want. Menacing, great. That's good enough. The warm scarf. Is actually very cheap warding perfect balance shield it costs quite a bit of money but warning there you go and uh, celestial stone menacing okay I'm getting really lucky here but I still have eight platinum left so even if you don't get lucky you can just keep going this can be problematic uh, 23 gold I'll be happy with with a lower tier tier sorry Spiked, plus two damage. That's just not good enough. Armor three defense. Yeah, that is good enough. Okay, and then we still have the summer ammo. We have seven platinum, so plus two damage. Menacing. There you go. So now we're going on to the starter cell staff. Ruthless would be the best. Well, personally, I want to. I prefer the Vortex Beater. Mm. Demonic. We're gonna go with Demonic. Plus 14 damage and some extra critical strike. That is great. Five left. Mm, nope. Mythical is good enough. It's the second best, really. What else do you want? 
So we have spent six platinum on all of these anterior um, anterior accessories with some amazing reforges. Got them really fast. Menacing, lucky, and warning. Really, all we want. I can spend a little more money to even. Well, I can, I'm gonna keep this. They're good enough. Six platinum, just fine. All right, so let's continue on with the. Uh... And by the way, the charm of myths is as a switching item. You want to be moving during, well, when the fight begins, so we'll be, be a little mobile here in a second. Gonna pop off all of my potions. And so we want to go, we want to move up and down in a diagonal fashion. Just like this. I want to be above his eye when he's about to shoot his lasers, so... Not too high of course, like as you can see, just there. We almost hit the ceiling, so you want to avoid that. Other than that, just diagonal flying. Try to avoid, yeah, I, did, I didn't miss that one, but oh well. Same here, just gonna... I'm barely getting hit, as you can see, just... Yeah, pretty simple. Just keep uh, diagonal flying, don't, don't enter the center of his, his body, because that's where all the damage gets you. Diagonal flying downward again, so I can go back up. I have a lot of upwards space. Should be opening his eye pretty soon. And there you go. And just go to the other side. Well, it's too bad he almost almost dead here. And I'm just flying and flying away. So his heart just opened up. Now the idea is to keep far away from him, as far as possible, without going too far of course, but yeah, that's not a big problem here. So as you can see on my minimap, he is... well, the minimap should be... Okay, my cat is, <laughs> my cat is walking over my screen. Get out of here, kitty. Kitty! Okay, so... Um, yeah, I want to zoom out a little bit more, because really I want to... This is a good distance right here. Okay, kitty, please. Yeah, thank you. I didn't... I don't think I went below 500 health, actually. So, an extremely easy strategy. I think he's going to be about dead. Yeah, almost. Didn't have to heal a single time. There you go. Very simple fight. No reason to, to cheese or to use the nurse. Just use a proper strategy, prepare well, and um, simple effort. I'm gonna kill him again, just to keep showing off the strategy. If you think you've already understood it, then that's just fine. But, yeah. Let me see here, 2 minutes, 48 seconds. Yeah, it's gonna... Hmm. Doesn't matter. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna start them all again, except for the summoning one. That one I'm gonna do manually. And gone, you gone, 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 gone. Well, that I can get on scan. And we summon it. Yeah, we get them all back. So there we go, we wanna be in motion during the fight. Well, before the fight. And just go diagonal. Don't forget to shoot at the dung thing here. And just fly away in a diagonal fashion. I'm going to start flying over him because the laser is about to hit. And back down so you can start flying over again. Just keep it nice and above him. We're going up. As you can see, I'm hitting the roof of this small world, so... I say it's it's pretty important to to start off low when he opens up his eye. You know now you can go up all the way up and back down in a diagonal fashion again. Really simple once you get used to just flying diagonally. Don't spend your don't waste your time flying around his head. It will just get you killed. Keep away from him. And start shooting again. And we're going back down. Up. Yeah, this is a kind of strategy that you that I am pretty good at through practice. But avoiding all of these shots when you're flying away from him is something you can do. You probably won't always or do it a lot because yeah, it's just a matter of experience really. And also when he's in his final form. You want to stay the hell away from him in general. Just stay away from him by flying diagonally. Now I did get hit a couple times the first uh, the st at the start. That's because I was well, I was still screwing around with the top eye. But now that I've gotten some nice distance, it's really simple. So you don't have to get close to him at all. There's no reason to check up on him. You are doing damage. If you look at my DPS meter, 1,500 a second. So yeah, and you just you can just keep avoiding. Now you don't want to go too far because he'll teleport to you. So let him come back a little bit, or just fly uh, horizontal, which is at a sort of the same speed as him, maybe a little bit faster, but. Now that we've gotten the distance between us, there is no difficulty in this at all. And I think I just killed him. Yeah. There you go. Very easy. You can do it again. Or I can just screw around with the Meow here. So yeah, I didn't get below 500 health, I think. Um... So if you're lacking some of the, the equipment here, not the bill armor, then you shouldn't be lacking the bill armor. This is this is extremely important. Well, you can do it with the with the shroomite armor and all these potions, but I've tried it many times with just the shroomite armor and yeah, a couple potions, like four potions, the most important ones. I couldn't. Yeah, I did with regen, endurance, iron skin, and pumpkin pie. I couldn't kill him. I couldn't kill him. Uh, maybe I wasn't as uh, experienced with it as I am now, but generally, don't go for the shroomite. Go for the beetle shell. And yeah, even with a couple of uh, items lacking, there you shouldn't have any problems if you do the strategy correctly. So good luck. I hope you learned something here, and see you later.